I'm Larry Osborne, field agronomist with Vermont Pioneer. We've been scouting this cornfield today for signs of goss's wilt. Goss's wilt is a disease that's come into South Dakota and Minnesota and Wisconsin within the last three or four years. And it's established itself uh, to quite a large area and to some devastating effects in many fields. We found some suspicious leaves. These leaves are showing possible signs of goss's wilt freckling, large blighted areas. We want to know for sure if these are actually affected by the Goss's wilt bacteria. So what we're going to need to do is send these in to the plant diagnostic clinic. We need to process them in a certain way. What we'll need is a zipper bag with a dry paper towel. And then, of course, some pertinent information about the sample, where it was taken, the date, and so forth. In order to get that set of corn leaves into the bag, we're going to have to fold them, just gently fold them once or twice, and right into that paper, into the uh, plastic bag with that paper towel. Again, they can be wrapped in the paper towel, they don't have to be. The dry paper towel basically serves to absorb any excess moisture to keep that sample from deteriorating as it goes through the mail. We want to get the excess air out of the bag, seal that up, we'll place that in a prepaid Self, a prepaid addressed envelope that will direct this sample to the plant diagnostic clinic at South Dakota State University. Once the sample is processed, results should be returned uh, within a few weeks.